the issue of COVID-19 vaccines. If you may recall, last week we discussed why vaccination rate in Nigeria is still too low, where we also looked at various factors responsible for that, including the fear of the unknown and obvious ignorance, where some people believe that their immune system is beyond the virus. Mm. Some workplaces in Nigeria because of their peculiarity made it mandatory for each and every staff to obtain a COVID-19 vaccination certificate. Elsewhere, you can't even travel out of the country without the certificate. Given these reasons and more, some people got their certificate through various means. Don't you think that is a problem? Yes, uh, El Bildad. It, it was a big problem. Uh, when you look at the uh, percentage of people who have read, as we've discussed last time, mm. the number is way too low for a country that uh, is supposed to lead the continent yes. in <coughs> dealing with a global emergency like this. Uh, so the number is way too low and then uh, the, the, the way in which uh, people uh, are meant to acquire, uh, to, to take the vaccine uh, is what I always emphasize on. Mm. Uh, you, made peop you made it mandatory or, or, or system the system makes it uh, inescapable for people to have the vaccine. But even at that, there are ways in which people are beating every traffic on the way. Mm. Uh, the evidence that you take the vaccine is the certificate. Yes. Ordinarily, once you can present the certificate, fine and good. We can say that you've taken yeah. the vaccine. Mm. But then again, people are, are obtaining it through various means, quite a lot of ways. Uh, uh, there are vaccine administrators who are willing to give away the card and then uh, end up not administering uh, the, 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 yeah, the vaccine which are procured uh, uh, or donated to the country. In any case, the cost is so high, but then they will uh, rather just uh, give you the certificate without administering you with the vaccines. Now, uh, uh, people will go around with the certificates, which now uh, gives the other person uh, uh, the confidence to relate with them mm. uh, freely, lose uh, in a loose way, and then you don't care because you believe that this person is vaccinated and therefore not likely to contact. Yeah. Virus. So these things are going on, and uh, somewhere you only have to pay to obtain the vaccine uh, certificate. You know. Uh, somewhere instead of the vaccine uh, uh, you will be you will be injected with uh, uh, water well, it, 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 let me emphasize here that you know this is the, our own view of as newsmen we are we are tabling issues that come to our attention mm. uh, these are practices that are going on, or malpractices rather, uh, and uh, it's a big problem. It is, this is why the percentage we have of, uh, of vaccinated, vaccinated people. people is still problematic, because if you count it based on the logs mm. or the certificates issued, it's misleading. Yes, it is. How sure is, is, is are you that you know? Hundred percent of those who obtain the certificate are even vaccinated. Yes, yes. The vac the vaccines are secured by a barcode, which means that when you present them, it uh, it can uh, bring up your log as uh, being certified. Mm. But that is not a guarantee that you are truly vaccinated it is only a set it is it, it is only an indication a proof that that certificate 
is it belongs to you is is, is authentic mm. is not uh obtained uh through yeah yeah it, it's not fake mm. that's the only good thing the bar- barcode would do uh so that that is a major problem the country entire country is taken for a ride by vaccine administrators uh who connive with some selfish individuals to uh, for whatever reason whether it is to uh, 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 whether they are uh, induced uh, uh, whether uh, it is about the re- on the basis of personal relationship i don't know for what reason but then there are so many crooked ways through which people obtain certificates so uh, uh, I don't know, but then this is truly a very big problem. The danger is that the next person will be dealing with you. Mm. You will be boarded on a plane with 50, 60, 70, 100, 500 people. people. Mm. Uh, um, all of them believing that you are all of, everyone on the plane is vaccinated. vaccinated. And they will freely relate with you. Mm. You will end up uh using the lavatories you will uh you will spread the virus uh without uh the people knowing uh, you know if they had known they will treat you with some caution mm-hmm. they can isolate you in the plane a lot of things uh and 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 and, and so on. naturally when you say things are mandatory or the system makes it look mandatory because it doesn't have to be in the constitution that it is mandatory, mandatory. but the system can create a way in which it has to be mandatory, mandatory. Mm. so if that is the case you tend to see that you know people will want will try to beat every uh, uh traffic you put on the way every roadblock people will beat it yes and that is what is uh, uh what is happening endangering uh, the society so it's a big problem i truly agree with you well back around uh, february this year yes i've heard it that someone can even obtain the certificate at the cost of 2000 naira as low as 2000 naira there are a lot of uh, vaccination points where you will go and discuss with the person administering the virus uh, the vaccine you will hand him over 2000 naira and that is all that That's it takes to vaccinate you and i don't think health practitioners are supposed to be even corrupt because they are tempering with the lives of millions of people absolutely that's the point we are saying Mm. you are compromising the very essence of your profession Mm. to what to play into the hands of a few who are selfish yes endangering people worldwide yes uh, uh but all that uh goes back to uh whether people truly even believe in the, the virus. virus because otherwise uh and you should also understand that people who had reserve who really rejected the existence of the virus uh, uh you have medical doctors mm-hmm. health uh practitioners um, which further fuels the rumor going on that yes truly a doctor has said this thing is fake and mm. you know so uh i cannot understand why a health worker would compromise the very essence of his job mm. sometimes there are a lot of things because you are a health worker does not mean that you are qualified to be a vaccine administrator yes because one you may probably the person needs some counseling Mm. some education when the person comes and says xyz Mm. you should be able to uh, yes why is it that you are afraid of the vaccine what do you think here is a log of the people who had well, taken the vaccine mm, they are still going on uh, well if the administrator is not truly uh, good at that there should be a, a provision of an expert in counseling there mm. to advise people who are, 
are, are willing to cut corners people who can tell you that see you are doing this to protect you someone know, else's uh, children uh, old women just as your children your family your words need to be protected so would you want someone to also endanger your own life and those of your children mm. uh, we are doing it for humanity this is this and that and that and that try to educate the person uh, if the person still insists uh, on uh, on obtaining the certificate yeah then he should go to other points mm. uh, if we make it impossible for people to obtain it then that is uh, uh, that 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 will solve the problem but then we are blaming the vaccine administrator mm. a good public service is supposed to be one that is uh, uh, effectively delivered so it starts from planning to the very end you don't so you have to know people you've uh, put in place to administer it you have to be able to institute a system of check and balance mm. that tries to you know review the conduct uh, monitor how this is going on because it tells you that uh, you know the people uh, put in place to administer the vaccine don't even understand why they are doing it yes or are too um, um, wicked uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, engage in this uh, malpractice uh, I think that's my uh, view the people who are responsible we have the, the we have CDC. the primary health care centers yes. who, uh, who, 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 who are headed by a government official uh, medical doctors we have this primary uh, health care board or so uh, we have the commissioner the a whole minister of health there should be a system that checkmates the process of vaccine administration from what from distribution to administration points to what to distribution and also certification, and to certification as well as reporting back uh some people will take the first uh, part mm. they won't go back for the second part if the intention is to get people truly vaccinated then sometimes there should be a system that goes runs a check check up the the logs these people only had the first dose well, uh, why why haven't they come for the second mm. call them you are supposed to come for or send a bulk message or a lot of things so i think uh, that the the government officials who are responsible uh, uh, who are on top of the value chain of the vaccination are supposed to also be uh, very watchful on how these things are done so mm. yes. well i think one of the contributing factors to this is from the from the basic from the grassroots yes. people in nigeria opted into works just for the pay so this some of these uh, vaccine administrators are yes. just there for the for the money for the money the government is going to pay them at the end of the day not for the service they are going to deliver so people even from uh, from the beginning when somebody tries to choose a course a lot of people will choose a course, pursue a course in the university to study just for what they are going to earn, for yeah, the opportunities in there, instead of for the services they are going to offer. So I think in this essence, people, those who work at the NCDC and also the vaccines administration uh, administrators are not there for the service they are offering. They are just there for the pay. That yes. is why all these things are uh, You are right. You are right. Mm. Elbil Dad, you are right. It, this is happening across various uh, institutions mm. it is largely attitudinal and attitudes are a result of uh, upbringing yes. and the institution responsible for upbringing is the family mm. family is breaking down we have it's to admit down. in nigeria family parenting has been left to uh, to uh, people to die out you mm. know parents are they're electing their duties to tv to school teachers yes. and 
you who has derelicted your responsibility to a school teacher is also probably a school teacher elsewhere so someone who cannot lead his family uh, cannot for whatever reason lead uh, uh, guide the, the, student. the, the students the children of someone else's <coughs> uh, uh, of some uh, uh, someone else mm. so uh, uh, parenting uh, should go hand in hand with a clearly defined national agenda yes right from home people should be raising their children okay for instance i come i i have members of my family who have contributed to uh the development of the nigerian polity in various ways mm. in various official capacities uh my grandfather for instance is a sharia court uh, judge and uh, a very uh, influential official of the native authority and then post independence nigeria and then many other people uh, so uh, all my grandparents um, i have this memory uh, i have this history of how they have contributed to building this country uh, i should uh, therefore also take uh, forward Mm, what they have, what they have started. Yes, mm. uh, I should not be a party that destroys these investments they have made. Mm. Uh, so, so w w family should tell you that. See, your uncle or your father or your grandfather is X Y Z, mm. and he has done X Y Z. You are supposed to uh, so to build on what. You yeah, have yeah, 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 yeah. Take over the button, mm. and then hand it over to your kids but then it seems like we're having a lost generation mm. who are disconnected from uh, their yeah. grandparents because that's true yes, if that's someone true. an adult can do, does not have a sense of his own history we are not blaming people we are just saying that we arrived at this point because the institution is falling falling apart with an alarming speed uh, because you ha you will find an adult today uh, who cannot tell you his first generation grandfather don't go second third fourth mm. first generation people don't have the sense of who they are so anything goes they don't care about how whether they are they are destroying their family's name uh, whether they are destroying the essence of their own existence people don't care people are just uh, uh, nonchalant, carefree, irresponsible, uh, individualistic, self-centered, short-sighted. People cannot even plan for mm. uh, uh, for the future. When when you bring up an issue, even if, if, even if you want to uh, do a business with someone, people will want to uh, will always emphasize on what Tomorrow. on what they get immediately immediately and, and what is in there for them yes <laughs> gone are the days when someone will, will have do vision. something for someone else mm. so this these things these things are uh are, are, are the bane of so many of our problems then in term in at the level of the leadership then there is no national program yes a national agenda mm. which the country promotes, promotes and then you know every kid would uh, want to would say that i want to become a medical doctor because mm. i had in the news my father said that the number of medical doctors in the country is low mm. i want to contribute to that or that nigeria is country is competing with uh, uh with uh, um, uh with, with uh netherlands with India, w w India uh, 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 or any other country that okay, let's say Netherlands, for mm. instance, a very small population, not more than some states in the country, a few states, and then w they are competing with uh, my country in the production of X Y Z. I need to set up a business that would help the, my country beat that, just as we do in football, mm. in sports. The only where the only area where 
Nigerians are still patriotic yes, is in the sport. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's the area we are failing the most. <laughs> So, uh, so if we, what holds us together is even at the verge of collapse. Because if we don't, we cease to, we, if we don't improve on our sports, the camp, people will lose interest, and there is no common bond. Camp nations are built with an agenda. Mm. In the past, if the agenda does not exist, uh, the agenda can be to defeat an external enemy sometimes largely imaginary mm. or an or an external agenda let's say for instance uh, uh, an agenda to uh, annex a foreign country which had been part of nigeria in the past mm. xyz things like that or that someone or or, or uh, an antagonist using neighboring countries to sabotage Nigeria yeah, yeah. and other things and then the country mobilizes everyone that during the Franco Prussian war 1870 Bismarck did that simply the Prussian the Prussians are Germans ethnically Germans but uh, 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 for various reasons they have been uh, uh, they have been uh, living uh, separately as independent entities but um, um, Bismarck did everything because at that was the period of booming nationalism in Europe mm -hmm. that was the that was that was the, the age where yeah, nationalism was you know very strong in in Europe, Europe. so Bismarck uh, so every every a, a nation wants to bring under its fall uh, its people wherever they are the population needs to be big and other things Bismarck did everything to unite these two German entities the the, the resistance was high what what did he do he instigated uh, um, a war with France uh, can't remember the French president but uh, a war was uh, instigated and when the war started Prussians joined um, uh, Germans uh, joined in the defense of their fellow uh, Germans mm -hmm. so after the war was uh, completed they said oh, we, 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 so we can do things together yeah and we are better off together mm. uh, let us come together and uh, that spirit that insists Germans should come under the same ethnic uh, dissemination has been there even after uh, the Berlin Wall was mm -hmm. uh, erected the that spirit was back in the late uh, 70s and 80s the wall was brought down and then Eastern Western Germany was united so um, mm, mm, national agenda is key and a very important example i always like to emphasize is the meiji restoration and revolution in japan mm -hmm. when japan came face to face with the realities of the colonial must uh, colonial occupation mm -hmm. japanese scholars said that okay see we haven't been relating with these people they have changed if we want to uphold our prestige as a civilized people we are supposed to you know uh, uh, we shouldn't go uh, into any war with a country we know little about. Mm. They may defeat us. Yes. Uh, the best way to defeat an enemy we do not know is to learn from the enemy. Mm. And Japanese started, you know, open up their doors to the Europeans as a ploy to really learn from uh, Europeans, uh, 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 the Europeans. Mm. So. Their, their 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 kids are sent to on scholarship to western countries and before you know japan in a period of 20 30 40 years has become industrialized such that in 1904 they could uh, they could fight with russia and defeat russia in the russo japanese war 1904 hmm. and uh, ever since ja japan became a superpower uh, Jap uh, the defeat of japan in 1944 uh, was part of the factors that ended the Second World War. So, 
in within less than a hundred year uh, uh, period of less than 100 years japan became uh, an industrial economy an industrial power so because kids are going to school because they wanted to learn from the west the as a national countries. agenda for their country mm. so uh, um, um, so the family the the government must begin to look at how they can build an agenda that every nigerian would like to key in such and in you will see these problems in vaccine administration in va vaccine acceptance in in uh, elections in uh, every other thing bribes all other yeah, malpractices will be declined will be declined will go down uh, we will begin to produce people of quality but mm. we have so many charlatans when you watch on tvs when you read uh, the quality of discussion is going down the quality of responsible people uh, the number of resp is going down so it is now becoming abnormal to be responsible in the society yes it is <laughs> well, like it is now so, so 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 uh these things can best understood within this so you are right absolutely right that it is from the very basics mm. so uh, uh, that's the issue of uh, this uh, let me call it buying of uh, covid-19 Cert certificate vaccine certificate shouldn't it be looked at as a matter of corruption it is mm. it is a clear case of corruption that a, an even more deadly uh, uh, case of corruption. Mm. Uh, people's life are involved. I, it is not just uh, every corrupt practice uh, is uh, is uh, is fueled by that selfish uh, desire mm. to put the self first and give a damn you know say that you and 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 say that okay damn everything i don't care what happens you don't even think about the consequences once your case is settled everyone uh, is to himself uh, or herself this is what uh, corruption is simply about mm. it doesn't have to simply be uh, uh, personalization of public resources mm. no personalization of decisions uh, or, 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 or it redefining uh, um, provision of public services on your own terms uh, even though there are clearly spelled out uh, guidelines mm. that uh, at the heart of which is the public good but you don't care about all these things this thing is a case of selfish uh, interest overriding the interests of the country people take 2000 but even if they don't take any amount of money uh, it, it, it is for me it is not as weird if i am told that they collect money mm. it is weird if they collect they don't collect they money don't and still do it yes it's much more weird mm. so it, it is it is a case of corruption and it has to be treated as such if it is a nigerian these vaccines are procured with Nigerian money. Mm. Uh, if they are donated to a country, the donation comes on uh, uh, rights on the back of the Nigerian state. And there's also logistics. Logistics because they have yeah. to distribute them. A lot. So, mm. so you know, uh, is 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 a corrupt. Uh, uh, case and government should uh, um, f f f what is the use of the civil defense Nigerian police uh, and other things this, well, this, this, this yes, I think since uh, the inception of administration of this vaccine mm. I I doubt if I have had a single case where the ICPC have or the EFCC or, or any government, government apprehended any person involved in uh, certifying people with COVID-19 vaccines. I don't know if they are not aware of it. it is uh, is uh, we have been we are following up on these things. Mm. We, we 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 know. 
you don't have to be you don't have to follow these things with keen interest for you to know that this fakery is going on all over mm. this 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 malpractice is going on so how uh, then yeah, that those institutions are useless yeah, yeah, if they yeah. don't know these things yes, are, yeah, are happening we are not uh, we, we we don't want to mention specific cases mm. uh it's not like we don't want to make we are not mentioning specific cases we are giving a general overview of what we know is happening everyone knows it's, it's happening, happening. Mm. Uh, people will even openly tell you that ah, i now can be vaccine in mm. that i got the vaccine uh the, the certificate without so and people are even asking i know so so easy they have normalized the practice mm. if people will say this in public it tells you the level of a uh, indiscipline in the country how would you engage in what is an obvious indiscipline and, and say it openly it. Mm. boast about it that vaccine <laughs> so you, you know this kind of things i i, I think is corruption and then the country has to uh, to if if we are serious about the vaccination then that aspect should also be squarely addressed yeah. well uh, as a media practitioner yeah what are the media doing in helping this matter what or what uh, should the media do to help this matter and be that what is this program is about yes why are we having this discussion mm. why are we doing it uh, this is part of the things we are supposed to do people you see i i i i uh, pe- journalism is a big field it is uh, and you bring in your own natural makeup into the practice and it re- you reflect you become uh, the way you practice journalism will be uh, uh, will be in line with who you truly are some people are naturally aggressive and so they like to play journalism in that aggressive uh, mode and you see people uh, writing reports you know some people are subtle you know and then their practice is subtle what is the solution how do we fix the problem mm. some people have a very uh, very soft hat they do not want to go and expose big uh, corruptions mm. uh, because they may say that okay at the end of the day someone will lose his job and mm. so on even though that is, but you cannot change people you cannot change people this is how some people look at uh, the world mm. you cannot change them so uh, uh, so people will deal with these issues in different ways some people will be carrying out investigations and exposing these people specific mention specific name specific addresses specific locations where this but sometimes these discussions are also very important because it helps people make sense of these investigations when they go out mm. because we are putting context to these things we are trying to uh, point out the issues in the, so that the so that our viewers may not as if our viewers don't know mm. uh, we are viewers who have uh, more in depth more in, yeah, yeah 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 and more understanding of this who have experienced this thing in 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 in, in um, uh, much clearer ways mm. so uh, but uh, this is the best the media can do discuss these issues make it uh, a burning issue make it uh, a talking point that it call attention yes yes because when when malpractices are going on and nobody is speaking no against practice. it then it has assumed the position of legality in that society the mal is gone the yeah the, practice. the practice mm. yeah so uh, the media must make these things uh talking points uh, in case people don't uh, want to talk about it we have to insist that people talk about it we have to insist that these things are, 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 uh, are, are, are 
against the interests of the country. Whatever it is, if we keep quiet, then we are a party uh, to these things. Mm. If we don't say these things are happening, we are also we are also that. condoning mm. it and we are perpetrating it in a way. So uh, uh, the media is helping with public education, which is. Uh, what we do now mm. uh, there are quite a lot of other platforms who are engaging in uh, investigations yes. trying to expose these things um, I, um, I had I have seen a report recently in either Kogi or Jigawa uh, one of the two because I have seen reports about both the two states uh, uh, written by by one of my friends colleague i can't remember the name i have this very bad uh, habit of forgetting names of people very close to me so uh, but he had carried out investigations about how government uh, uh, government's failed promises uh, uh failing uh, a lot of uh, health uh, problems in one of these states. Mm. So uh, every media person is uh, doing their best. But then again, El uh, journalism uh, uh, needs money. It does. Journalists need money mm. to carry out uh, investigations. You, you can conduct the investigations. Sometimes you have to be very careful what uh, that investigation may lead to, to so it is better if i'm in 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 lagos for instance to come and carry out investigation in yobi mm. or Meduguri, because after the investigation yeah, i'll go to lagos, lagos and then publish it in mm. lagos and then damn everyone but then uh, when you are struggling you know you are an you are just everywhere in the society uh, we have a political system that provides little protection to journalists, journalists. yes Seriously. Uh, so a journalist is has to be very careful because uh, sometimes you always think about you have this choice I need to continue on this profession to write to reach a certain point where yes I can do my work without any hindrance mm. but then we have a big problem today should i investigate it to, should i expose it mm. uh if you expose that it has it stands the risk of truncating your career mm. you, you may be thrown out because the government will just round you up and then you know uh you will be uh they will say that you are a suspect mm. You know, you are, you are a suspect. Uh, some reports of written in the past uh, will be brought up, and then you will be locked up and set up. We will just issue press releases, and a little and hashtags, and, and then that's that. Uh, and people will say that journalists should not be afraid. Are journalists not human? They are human. Don't they have families? Yeah. How would journalists not be afraid? Sometimes you are a publisher. As a publisher, you may you, you may be ready to take the bullet, mm. but how would you uh, put uh, endanger your reporters whose family entrusted him to you? You are a journalist, but you yes, you are a journalist, but you come from a family because you work in my organization. Does not mean that your family has. Uh, n uh, it does not mean that you, the family uh, are more powerful than your family again uh -huh. the family entrusted you to me even if they have not participated in the decision uh, in, in in deciding that you work for me mm -hmm. but the fact that they agreed to the decision means that they entrusted you to me mm -hmm. they have emotions I have to understand these sensibilities this in uh, this this emotions mm -hmm and protect the 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 journalist mm. sometimes uh, because you always have this view that okay time will come when these things can be done and then nobody dares uh, to stand up against you uh, so uh, uh, 
for you to do this you need a lot of funding you need to uh, be able to sometimes it's not like you are afraid of being rounded up but then what is the cost of defending yourself, yourself. you don't have it you you cannot afford the legal fees and no lawyer will do this for pro bono they will say the journalists have money you, <laughs> you, because people will say that well, when you write one report you get two million who how is that or uh, three million or, or when you write report and people will sit down and say that ah, i want a sense of so so yeah, who gives you that money and, uh, I, I, I tell my reporters when you go to film a report or to cover events, cover the events and go because it is now a habit. You will be queued up mm. 5,000 days, 3,000 days, 2,000 days as, as transport. This is what journalists are given. And someone will say that I'm not in the Naga, I'm not minister. Mm. There are some people that is as if you pay as a journalist. These are big people, but you know, a journalist and a lawyer, lawyer, uh, ordinary lawyer who has not really made a name, they are the most abused people in the society. A lawyer will be suffering on your case, doing research and so on, but at the end of the day, uh, he has to struggle to get paid. And what is the pay? Twenty thousand. Mm. Well, uh, we are running out of time, and yeah. I think on that you have uh, left out teachers, classroom teachers yeah. like myself, <laughs> yeah. who are paid yeah. a little amount of money to work. Yeah. And uh, you've mentioned of uh, types of journalists with respect to their personality. Well, I think you are the patriotic type. You put the nation first. Then, uh, with regards to this, uh, what alternatives practices do you think the government should incorporate into ensuring that people administer these vaccines? You see, school is on the one side, government is on the other side. The only institution that takes school important, and they are now giving out on schools, mm -hmm. is the industry. Government no longer sees school for anything. When it is election, they will uh, hire them as uh, INEC officials mm -hmm. and so on. But beyond that, we don't. So school is left out in the scheme of things. And so government forgets that school is one such big uh, uh, way in which you can reach thousands of people. people. Mm -hmm. So schools are not put in the decision of what uh, government is doing. But if you can if you can get schools uh, to help uh, orient students on these practices, you have of course GST, which mm. is supposed to be a general studies for Nigerians. But then uh, the universities too will not it will not you know hire some of the best brands to teach this general course. Courses. They are more interested in the departmental courses, mm. and then you bring in regular people to teach GST and then GST has like 1,000 students in the class the hall is crowded there is no public address system mm. you know and then yeah, students are made to feel like you know a lecturer a, a, the department will set a, 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 a class at the time of GST mm. and then they are, that helps students to believe that GST is not a very important course and then but then these are places these are the ways in which you can reach the reach the student get people who i think gst is like general studies the school can invite a state governor come and give us Life one lecture should. speak to the people about mm -hmm. why what governance is doing tomorrow invite uh a commissioner, a commissioner. let people uh be because it is it is different when the governor tells you that see why are you in this school? This is, for instance, University of Meduguri uh, or the Vice Chancellor. This is the university. Why are we teaching you this course? Uh, you are the future of our country. You are the future of this state. That way, students will will, 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 will will because if you are made to feel that you are left out, you are left, you will be useless. Mm. I have seen this I, 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 uh, as a business person. If I have a new staff for the first few days or weeks. Or months is the, the attitude is somehow but when you when you make them understand that you know the organization depends on you and your input and your input 
to succeed. You see people uh, turning out uh, entirely different performance. And so I think uh, not on vaccine, on many things. Uh, these are ways in which you don't just take the vaccine to school, which was as as we are used to in the past mm -hmm. when we are in primary school they will come in and then mm -hmm. you know, educate us so that we will insist uh, that our parents take us to the vaccine points and other things so uh, campaign we have to understand the Nigerian state and we understand and devise the most suitable ways to campaign to do in this campaigns there are a lot to do but then I think uh, the future is truly bright. I am very, very optimistic about that. Well, as you know, on this platform, we try to bring you the views of news people and journalists about happenings in the society and ultimately how we perceive it. Please do not forget to keep a date with us all the time on this and many of our other programs. Thank you very much. Thank you.